ಅನ್ನ ಪ್ರಸನ್ನ ಅನ್ನ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ರೈಸ್ ಪ್ರಸನ್ನ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಸಾದ ಆಮರ ಓಡಿಸರೆ ಸಾಧಾರಣ ಚಾವಳಕ್ಕೆ ಮುಖ್ಯ ಖಾದ್ಯ ರೂಪೆ ವ್ಯವಹಾರ ಕರಾಯಜೆ ಇನ್ ಓರಿಸಾ ರೈಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿನಾನಿಮಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಫುಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಗ್ರಿಕಲ್ಚರ್ ಟು ಅ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರಬಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಗ್ರೋಯಿಂಗ್ ರೈಸ್ addressing nutrition behaviors and agriculture practices in tandem is relatively uncharted territory we likewise recognize the inherent interconnectedness between agriculture and nutrition as part of upavan a 3 year four arm randomized control trial digital green in collaboration with spring and local orissa ngo varat with london school of hygiene and tropical medicine ventured to develop the first scalable nutrition sensitive agriculture behavior change communication intervention of its kind by the end of the startup partners meeting we had a clear definition of nutrition sensitive agriculture practices we had a beginning theory of change these interconnected pathways include food production processing and storage where nutrition sensitive agriculture can supply local markets and households with sufficient safe and nutritious foods all year round. It also works through increasing incomes with behavior change communication combined with income earning activities. Nutrition sensitive ag can help to increase household investments in nutritious food and other health care and wash inputs. Women's empowerment underlies all the pathways. Nutrition sensitive agriculture can increase women's control over household resources and leads to more equitable workload sharing. The last pathway is water hygiene and sanitation. We need to make sure that nutrition sensitive agriculture does no harm to human and environmental safety. Next, we conducted formative research to understand the practical realities and the nuances of the context in which we were working in jatabale ame pura matra re ame bibhinna chart dekhe ki bibhinna poster dekhe ki tanko soito discussion kartulu setabale dekha jautula je mukhya to jo ma mane achanti amar garbhavati ma prasuti ma se mane adhika samay deutule kaam kariya pai the formative research focused on a few diet and caring practices like existing perceptions among moms dads and grandmothers about what foods their families prefer and what crops are preferred for selling versus growing for household consumption The methodologies for formative research were very engaging with community members. In a way it was an intervention in itself. For example, filling out the daily activity charts helped people understand the relative workloads of family members. We found consensus among mothers, fathers, and grandmothers that it's very important that family relationships involve friendly communication, joint decision making, and task sharing. To bring all of our learnings together, We developed a matrix which summarized the formative research data. Some of our priority at NSA topics include equitable labor sharing, production diversity, joint household level agricultural planning and decision making, increasing household level incomes, improving post-harvest processing and storage, ensuring environmental safety and minimizing health risks from agricultural activities. Once we had our prioritized practices, we needed to translate that into a working social behavior change communication intervention. 1 2 3 stop. This is where Digital Green came to the fore. So Digital Green trains 2 uh, to 3 community members in producing small videos of 8 to 10 minutes in length. The whole idea of Digital Green videos is to develop a level of confidence to adopt those particular practices. This community level mediators go through a 3-day training process on how to disseminate these videos. They pause the video, they ask questions. This mediator's role is to ensure that everybody participates in the discussion. And the viewers are encouraged by the mediators to adopt those practices which they see in the video. And after a few days of dissemination the mediator again goes to their house the viewer's house to see whether that particular member has adapted some of the practices physically aire mane am jemti hela lagai douthulu no ajin so gela agre mane khali pati douthulu lagai ki puni asi ki sabun re hat dhui ki chhua ko khaiba pai dau au the development sector has been working in silos with only modest success over 3 quarters of cultivated land in Orissa is used for paddy cultivation and no meal is complete in Orissa without rice. Nutrition sensitive agriculture 
doesn't require drastic changes in livelihoods or practices. It's about simple changes, small tweaks to existing realities that can have an additive and lasting effect on a family's health and nutrition.